Yes, it's the same man. He's nice to look at and have around for now. <laughs> That's not right. You have a nice and kind-hearted man by your side. Do you know how many women are praying to have a man like him? So I was thinking we could use Nia and Lice for the party. Chantel said she wanted her party more exciting. Are you 12? Chantel is a grown woman and the hottest influencer we have on our clientele list. God, Mia. Sometimes I really worry about your mindset. Sorry, I just seen one of Chantel's party and she said that she wished it was more exciting and lively. <laughs> I saw who did her last party. <laughs> what, you think I'm an amateur or something? Your job is to assist, not speak. Sorry, it won't happen again. That's more like it. Do you have a reservation at Spa Springs? What? No. It says right here that you have a reservation today at 3 p.m. Should I call and cancel? It says the reservation was made by a Lawrence Whitehead. <laughs> yes, that's my little boy toy. <laughs> Is that the one that gave you that donor's check for your business? I remember seeing him on the donor's list. I wish you was this attentive when it comes to work. Yes, it's the same man. He's nice to look at and have around for now. <laughs> That's not right. You have a nice and kind-hearted man by your side. Do you know how many women are praying to have a man like him? Well, they weren't using their knees right. Whatever. This love thing is played out. He provides for me, and I <laughs> fake laugh at his jokes in order to get what I want. You know, nothing good ever comes out of using people. Whatever. I didn't ask for an opinion. So focus on Chantel's event and stay out of my business. Oh, baby. Don't. What are you doing home so early? Don't baby me. I heard everything you were saying. Let's talk about it. I was only saying those things to keep my assistant out of our business. You don't have to lie. You're a grown woman. You know exactly what you were doing. I want you to get your stuff. Get out of my building. Baby, s s stop acting crazy. I'm on the lease. You can't just kick me out. I want you out of my building. I was trying to help you. How do you help you with your credit? God, I'm such an idiot. I was just trying to show you some appreciation. Don't you know that giving is my love language? Why do you use me? I was wrong about you. I love you, Lord. Can we talk about this, okay? I'm done talking. I want you to get your stuff and get out before I call the police. Baby, come on. Then don't touch me. Get out of my face. I know that ain't who I think it is. I didn't know you came on this side of town. You look great. Oh my goodness. Me, is that you? What are you doing here? Well. Well, my wife and I just came from a nice dinner date. You married my assistant? <laughs> First of all, I don't work for you. I have my own company and I make millions. You stole my business and my man. Are you serious? 
I told you that Chantel won the neon lights That's and a lively party. Okay. You fumbled the bag, not me. You're a snake. <sighs> you stole my life. Look, there's nobody else to blame but yourself, okay? And my wife doesn't have to explain anything to you. Hey, let's go. Come on. Wait. I was wrong. I hurt the both of you, and I am deeply sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. I'm literally living out of my car right now. Because I drove away all the people that loved and supported me. We don't need your forgiveness. You need to be better for yourself. You are so talented. Maybe if you drop the Mean Girl act, then people will see you for who you truly are. Look, here's the key to one of the buildings on this side of the town. I got somebody that could give you a place to stay and help you find a job. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was exactly what I needed. Olivia, really, I want you to take care of yourself and hope that everything works out for you. Thank you so much. I will always remember this. And I appreciate your help. You're welcome. Hope you have a good day. Well, let's go. People who only want you around for their own benefit don't deserve you. Olivia lost her home and her business and is now homeless. Bad choices have bad results. But let's see what could have happened had she made the right choices. Did you make reservations at Spa Springs? What? No. It says right here that you have a reservation today at 3 p.m. Should I call and cancel? It says the reservation was made from uh, Lawrence Whitehead? Yes. That is my boyfriend, I'm sure. Is that the guy that gave you that huge donor check? I saw his name on the donors list. You have a good eye. And yes, that is the same man. And he is completely amazing. Girl, you are glowing. I know you in love. All you need to know is that I'm happy and I love that man. Girl, I heard that. <laughs> <clears throat> Baby, what are you doing home so early? I want to give you a gift and surprise you. Oh. Before you go get your nice massage at the spa spring. <laughs> oh my God, really? Yes, anything for you. Congratulations! Oh my God. So I will finish the project proposal at home so you two can enjoy your day. Thank you for all your help, Mia. I have plans for us. And I just want you to know that all your hard work has not gone unnoticed. I am the luckiest girl in the world for having you. I love you. And I just appreciate you for changing my life for the better. We're a team. And I'll always make you happy, because I love you, and you're going to be my wife one day. Mm. Well, go ahead and relax, and let me get this bath water ready for you. <laughs> the moral of the story is, to remember, if you are a giver, to set boundaries, because takers don't have any. Using someone who genuinely cares for you only starves and blocks your blessings. 